OK, so today we're going to look at how you can make Google Chrome your default browser in Windows 11. And we're also going to explain what is a default browser. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we are going to show you today how you can make Google Chrome your default or default browser in Windows 11. Now, first of all, what is your default browser? Now, that is basically the browser that your computer is going to choose to open up if it needs to automatically. Now, what you're going to find is most of the time with Windows 11, it's going to be Edge is going to be your default browser. Now, this is because Microsoft own Edge and they want you to use it. So let's just give you an example. So for one example, if I create a shortcut, say, on my desktop and let's just do that. So I'm just going to create a shortcut to go to the BBC, for instance, and then let's just give it the name BBC. There we go. I've created a shortcut. And as you can see, it's come out in the Edge icon. So when I double click on that, it opens up in Microsoft Edge, not Google Chrome as I wanted it to. Another example is Perhaps when I go into emails. OK, so I've got this email here which has got a link in it to my web page in YouTube. If I click on that, then what's it going to do? It is going to open up in Edge and not Google Chrome. So how do you get Google Chrome to be your default browser? So let's just have a look at that. So all we do is let's just close everything down back off the screen and then click on the start button and just type on your keyboard the word default. That's D-E-F-A-U-L-T. Then hopefully after a few seconds, seconds under best match, you should see default apps, system settings. Move your mouse over that, left click. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down this list here. Now, wait a few minutes because it, it does change. It is building up this list. So scroll down until you see Google Chrome. If you don't see Google Chrome, now normally it's in alphabetical order. If you don't see it, then scroll back up to the top again and scroll back down. Like I say, it does sometimes take a few seconds to build up this list. Click on Google Chrome and up the top here, you've got this option. Make Google Chrome your default browser. So click on set default just there. Close this down. And as you can see now, that icon I made called the BBC there has changed color. It's changed into a Google, Google Chrome icon. If I double left click on that, it will open up the BBC in Google Chrome. And also, if I go back to my emails and then open that email up that I had before, click on the link to my YouTube channel there that I've received. And as you can see, it's still opening up in Edge. But we've got at the top here links from Outlook opening Edge so you can see your email without switching apps. So we've got two options here. Use Edge. So if you're happy to continue using Edge for your links in emails, then click on that. Or if you're not happy, you want to use another browser such as Chrome, go to Manage My Settings, left click once on that, and here it gives us the option. So it says links from Outlook open in Microsoft Edge so you can see your email without switching apps. This setting will affect how web links are opened across Outlook and Teams. You can also change this setting anytime within Outlook or Teams. And then you've got a little learn how there, so you can click on that and a page comes up and there you go. It tells you how you can manage them. So if you wanted to open up links now in Google Chrome from Outlook or Teams, then you can click on this little circle just to the left of use system default and in brackets, it will have their Google Chrome if that's your system default or Firefox or whatever your default is. Click on that and then click on confirm. And there now, as you can see, that has now opened up in Google Chrome instead of Microsoft Edge. But what if you want to restore it all back to Edge? Well, let's just have a look. So if you set Outlook to open your links in Google Chrome, then go into Outlook and go to File and then go to Options and then and then click on Advanced 
And here you've got under file and browser preferences, this here, open hyperlinks from Outlook in, and you can either set it to open in the default browser, which currently is Google Chrome, or you can say, I wanna open them in Microsoft Edge. So if you wanna set it back to Microsoft Edge, then click on Microsoft Edge there, click on OK. And that will mean when you try and open up any links in Outlook, it will open them up once again in Microsoft Edge. So what if you wanna set your default browser back to be in Microsoft Edge. So just go back to the start button down there and then just type default once again and then click on default apps system settings under best match. Then what you need to do is wait for this list to build up, scroll down and you're looking for Microsoft Edge. Now it might take a while to come up there. It is Microsoft Edge. Click on that and just click at the top there where it's got set default and that would have restored your browser back to Microsoft Edge. So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you, including links to my Amazon shop, which has got all the things I love currently in Amazon. There's links to VPNs, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and Fire Stick accessories. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're here, you see a video that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.